everyone and welcome to Let's Play Doom. That's right, I thought that just one game would be a little boring. So I thought, let's pull out the old games and find something that's good. And Doom is a good game. So let's play it, shall we? First thing... ...is to make sure the music doesn't drown me out. <laughs> um, I might just have to check that. But yeah. This is Dune. Welcome. First, let's talk to this guy. He's Duke Leto Atreides. I am the Duke Leto Atreides, your father. Thanks for reminding us. My son, we must mine the spice as soon as possible, or the Emperor will recall us from Dune. That's true. So what do you reckon we do? We've spotted three troops of Fremen around the palace, and I've sent Gurney Halleck to meet them. He's not returned yet. Go there and see what's keeping Gurney. On it. So yeah, we never go throughout the world of Dune by using this little thing here, or by clicking on the people either way. And for our rooms, we use this little display down the bottom right. We can look in a mirror in here. That's us. Awesome, eh? Hello, who's this? I'm your mother, Jessica. Thanks for reminding me. The Duke has sent Gurney Halleck to Carthag Tuic. Go outside, take an orny, and fly there. Hurry up, my son. I sense danger. Okay. As you can guess, this is a bit of a point-and-click adventure game, but it's also a strategy Setting game as well. We're going to fly to Carthag Tuic. This is a lovely little pre-rendered scene, um, and it actually modifies itself based on what terrain you're flying on. So it actually is quite sweet, really. But yeah, um, this is Doom. Not only a point-and-click quest game, it's also a strategy game as well. So there'll be a bit of both throughout this playthrough. Um, I hope you enjoy. Normally, these scenes will use the skip to destination button here, but I thought I should show you one to the complete fruition first because, you know, it's good. We've almost reached our destination now. Here we are. And what do you know? It's a cinch. Let's go inside, shall we? We've got a Fremen over here. And Gurney Halleck over here. Let's say hello to Gurney. I'm Gurney Halleck. I've served the Atreides for a long time. Good to know. Because that whole evil scientist look you've got going, you look like you're going to betray the first person you see. I've just come into contact with the Fremen. The Fremen have always lived in the sands of Dune. They live in sieges so well hidden that no one knows exactly how many there are. That's true. In fact, those, we only, the three sieges that we uh, know about, they're the only three we know about. So um, we actually have to find every other siege on the map. Fun, eh? But yeah. I've tried to convince them to work for us. You try, Paul. They may trust you. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Hello, Fremen. We've heard of you. You are the son of the Atreides Duke, and of Jessica, the... Could he be the one? The one? I don't know what he's talking about, but what I do know is that I want you to work for me. 
Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. See, that, was, that wasn't that hard, was it, Gunther? Oh, well, I forgot his name. <laughs> my troop is awaiting your orders. Okay, well, what we're going to do to this troop here is we're going to give it an occupation. And we're going to tell it to specialize in spice mining. We are very mining. used to spice mining. We'll try to learn. We're doing spice mining. Have a look at the characteristics of my troop. Let me show you what our production level will be. We aren't well equipped to extract spice, but we're trying to do the best we can. However, it would be better with a harvester. That's true. Would you like me to repeat what I said, Paul Atreides? I'm good. So that wasn't that hard, was it, Gurney? It would be best for us to visit the three sieges together, and then return to the palace and inform the Duke. All right, well, come with me then. Okay, Paul, I'm going with you. So out we go, and into the Ornithopter. That's right, Ornithopter. And we're going to go to Carthag Timmy, I think. Timmy. And this time we will be using the skip to destination and going inside. Hello. I can feel something in you, but I wonder if you will be able to penetrate the secrets of this planet. How mysterious. Will you work for me? I'm not quite sure that you're able to appreciate our skills yet. Well, fair enough, uh, Gurney. You know, at least one person doesn't instantly sign up. Let's take the Oni Snopter and go Set back to the other one. So, in we go. Hello, Fremen. We saw you coming from the other siege. That's true. Uh. That's a big piece of insight there. Uh. Um, will you work for me, though? Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. Thank you. Let me give you some orders. We are awaiting your orders. I'm going to tell you to specialize in spice We know mining. a little about spice mining. That's a good start. Alright, well, I think that's all we can do. Did you notice? All the Fremen we meet have blue eyes. Totally blue. No whites in them. It's linked to saturation of the blood with spice. How interesting. The Fremen seem to be organized into tribes or troops. All right. Let's go and tell the Duke that we have two troops working for us. We'll do that then. Let's go into our Ornithnopter. Notice how it's now close to night time, it's sunset. Select destination. We'll go back to the Artrades Palace. Here's the bad guy's palace, the Harkonnen Palace. We won't be going there for a long time. Even the gene animation changes based on the um, time of day. And it's now day two. But it's also time to cut off the video now, folks. So what we're going to do is save here. And we'll see you next video. So look forward to seeing.